Airbus has a highly diverse workforce. Staff from 100 different nationalities work for the company and 20 languages are spoken. And Airbus aims for 20% of recruitment on each of their European sites to be non-national in order to develop and maintain multicultural teams. Gender diversity has also become a cornerstone of recruitment policy, with the objective of hiring 25% of women among new recruits. And diversity goes beyond gender and nationality, with programs to promote the employment and accommodation of disabled people or to encourage applications from sensitive urban areas. At Airbus, diversity is an asset, and that's why it's joined up with the Global Engineering Dean's Council to create an award recognizing individuals who've made a key effort to diversify their engineering classrooms. The diversity brings a lot. First, the difference makes a difference. It is really known through research that the most performing companies in the world are the most diverse ones. We have the ambition to be a global company. We have very strong European roots, but our business is international. We are everywhere in the world. So this is why we should continue to be attractive, not only in the core countries of Airbus, but also all over the world. And again, this initiative to create this award with the Global Engineering Dean's Council is one additional strong opportunity of being visible, being attractive all over the world and recognizing the people who are helping us finding these new talents to expand the talent pool for the future. After hiring 5,000 new staff last year, Airbus is hiring an additional 3,000 this year and 40% of them will be engineers. That is why Airbus is so determined to recognize good practice, which has encouraged students from all profiles and backgrounds into engineering, and will support them to become passionate engineers of the future. The award committee, which I'm part of, is looking for nominations for individuals who have actually put in place initiatives to encourage a diverse mix of people into engineering, and for people where those initiatives have actually produced results. The award works in three stages. The first stage is nominations for individuals who have set in place these initiatives. Those nominations will then be assessed by the award committee who will then select to ten proposals. And that final ten will be put in front of the evaluation committee made up of senior members of academia and industry who will then select to three finalists and then the winner will be presented with the award at a conference in October. Naturally, Airbus is keen to see the next generation of engineering recruits go into industry and consider Airbus as a potential employer. Diversity and multicultural backgrounds in our employees fosters innovation, performance and engagement. It's part of the Airbus culture. During the last years, I think we have invested a lot in order to uh, welcome more women, more diverse uh, engineering backgrounds, more diverse social origins. Nominations for the Diversity Award close at the end of May. You can get more information and submission forms at the websites on the screen.